Look at that. What is that? Yeah, buddy, that is cool. Oh, my gosh. That is cool. Wow, I think your grandma and grandpa deserve a hug for that one. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, You're my welcome. boy. Hey, one day you and I will play with that, okay? Okay. All right? Yes, but first let's get you something to eat. I have yummy things in the kitchen. Uh -oh. Come with me. I have homemade cinnamon rolls. Uh -oh. Cinnamon rolls. Johnny's never had a cinnamon roll. We'll have to give him a little bite when he wakes up. Mm -hmm. well, he can bring me one, too. Uh, do you those. want a cinnamon roll? Uh, no, I'm good. I think your dad might, though. Bring one to me. Okay. Okay? Sure. Great gift. I think uh, you really liked it. I think it's important to give kids something that makes them think, you know? Oh, yeah. That's great. I agree. What are those damn video games? So now you're the toy police. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Oops. Peace and love. It's Christmas. It's all. Mm. But maybe I'm being unfair, you know. Maybe you got those video games for yourself. Now that you're about to sell the magazine, have you sold it, maybe? I don't know. Have you sold it? You'll have nothing else to do then, will you? But play video games. Any prospects for anything else? Oh, you know me. I've always got something going on. Oh, yeah. You know, I have to tell you, your concern for my well-being, it's touching. I mean, it gets me right here. Isn't it? It, it just warms the cockles of my heart, I yeah. tell you. Oh, yeah. You know? How will you occupy yourself once you sell the magazine? Oh, well, do you have a prediction that you would well, like to share? I do, I do, I do, I do, yeah. From experience, I can tell you, you better keep busy. Better have a plan. Keep yourself out of trouble, right? That's right, Billy Boy. That's sage advice. Right, Thank you welcome. very much for that. Hey, hey. what did I miss? Not much. How's Johnny? Is he all Christmased out? Um, well, he's still sleeping. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to take him home, put him in the crib. Oh, OK. Um, well, we'll all go. Reed's pretty wiped out, too. Yeah. I'm not tired. No, he doesn't <laughs> look wiped out. Come on, you were up before five this out. morning. I'll tell you what, I will make you a deal. Take you home, you lay in your bed, you close your eyes. I'm gonna put Johnny in his crib. If you're not asleep after that, we'll play more video games. You? All right. Good. Can you give me some help? Need help with that? No? I got that, Grandpa. Okay. <laughs> okay, my boy. You're leaving so soon. I was hoping we'd have a chance to talk about the wedding. Well, no, no, no. You, you two should. Absolutely. I'll take the boys home. No problem, all right? Thanks. OK, buddy, come help me out. What did you do? You want to have? We had a perfectly simple conversation. We just talked about his plans for the future. Oh, of course you did. On Christmas. What does that mean? I'm not going to stop being her father. Because it's a holiday. Please tell me you did not throw Hong Kong in his face. I did not do that. You know, you just generally and casually dropped it into the conversation that he's had a drinking and I gambling problem. I did not problem. do that, OK? But you're telling me that those subjects are taboo now? Or... I'm out of here. Wait, wait, I think you're overreacting now. Oh, I'm overreacting? Is it so unreasonable for me to believe that you meant it when you said that you'd accepted my marriage and that Billy was welcome in your home? I convinced him to come here. I told him it was going to be OK. I guess I was wrong. And then look at this bouquet. It's so unusual, isn't it? In a good way. Yeah, it's pretty. It's very colorful. <sighs> I'm sorry I taught you to stay. You know, Billy told me not to get my hopes up. Dad would just be dad. I think it says a lot that he was willing to make the effort. Probably for the last time. Sweetheart, did you see the checkbook anywhere? It's on the table. Oh. OK. So, how do you like your mother's plans? Dad, let's not pretend that nothing happened, OK? I'm trying, OK? I'm committed to make Billy part of this family. I mean, it may take me a while, two steps forward, one back, but I'm trying. It's a little hard.
hard for me to trust that right now. You can trust me. Sweetheart, why don't you take some leftovers home and then you don't have to cook tonight? No, no, that's okay. I think I'm just gonna go. Okay. I love you, okay? So, so sorry. Don't be. Victor, that was actually good behavior. Hey, where does he get off of voicing his opinion on what you do with your time? If you wanted to quit, it would be fine by me. You'd just be available to me more often. It'd be great. Yeah, it'd be great. <gasps> wow! <laughs> Woo! Next time that I say, let's go to Jamaica for the holidays, I will have my bags packed before you finish your sentence. Do you know what we were doing this time last year? Mm, something to do with vows and church. Mm-hmm. Who said we weren't going to make it a year? We're going to have a lot more anniversaries. Yeah? Yeah. A lot more? A lot more. I feel like I let you down. No, don't. I told you I don't blame you for Victor's shenanigans. No, I don't mean that. We had an agreement. <laughs> you remember? Mm hmm. I was going to reward you for coming with me to my parents' house. But we both ran out of there in such a huff that. Oh, I guess I'm not going to be able to make good on it. I don't know about that. I'm a flexible guy. You're a flexible girl. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we can work something out. Really? Mm-hmm. You would do that for me? You're so good to me. Oh, absolutely. Let's go upstairs and negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> I miss this. And me too. OK! Come on. The negotiations begin. First on the table. We gotta do this. <laughs> <laughs>